Today what I'm doing is making a new regulator pin for a pocket watch that I'm working on. This is the balance of the watch. This is the oscillating uh, device, the timekeeping device of the watch. Attached to the balance is a hairspring, and this controls the rate at which the balance oscillates um, and the rate at which the hands turn around the dial. Uh, the hairspring is straddled uh, by two regulator pins, which I will show up close in a second, that are attached to this metal uh, regulator. And moving the pins back and forth along the hairspring uh, controls the degree of oscillation of the hairspring and the frequency of oscillation of the balance. In other words, it controls the rate of the watch. Here you can see me inspecting the regulator. So the, here's the regulator. It's simply a piece of metal um, and it ha has two, uh, two brass pins, regulator pins, and the hairspring passes through these pins in this direction. And uh, there should be two pins here. You can see here, there's our regulator. Pins stick out at 90 degrees to the regulator. And they're going to straddle the hairspring of the watch and control the frequency of oscillation of the balance. So you can see here, there should actually be two pins. We're missing one. This one was loose. And as I tried to adjust it, it just came out. It had broken uh, in its setting in the regulator. So what I'm going to try to do today is uh, turn a new pin, a new regulator pin, uh, in the lathe. The diameter is about 0 0.21 millimeters, and it's made out of brass. So uh, I'm going to try to make a new one today in the watchmaker's lathe and fit it into my regulator uh, so that I can adjust the timekeeping on this old Elgin pocket watch. So here's my watchmaker's lathe, uh, a humble Boley uh, 8 millimeter WW type. Uh, I bought this a few months ago. I've been learning how to use it. Uh, so we can use this to uh, make new parts for the watch, including in this case, a regulator pin. Uh, here's my little tip over tool rest. You can see I've mounted a, a three millimeter piece of brass in, in a collet here. So what I'm going to do today is cut down that brass and make a new pin. A little tool rest there. Here's some collets, so these hold the workpiece. Um, and here are some gravers. So these are uh, cutting devices that I'm going to be using to, cutting, to cut brass uh, off this piece and turn it down to a, um, to a new regulator pin. What I'm going to be doing here is sharpening my gravers. Uh, so I've already got a rough shape using a relatively coarse uh, India stone here with oil. And what I'm going to be doing now is cutting, pardon me, uh, finishing the diamond shape on gravers. So, so gravers have a diamond uh, end, and you want this end to be perfectly flat. The traditional way to do this is by hand, and that's what I'm attempting to learn now. You can use a graver sharpener to maintain a perfect flatness and get a sharp, nice, sharp, straight edge on the graver. Uh, but I'm trying to do it the classical way here. So what I need to do is um, hold it as if it was a pencil, feel the flatness of the edge and check the flatness with the loop. And then I'm gonna turn it in small circles in order to get a, a, a perfectly flat, uh, very polished edge diamond on my, on my graver.
Okay, so it looks like we've got ourselves a usable taper pin. I think it's going to be a little bit long, so I'm going to bring it down to the correct length with a very fine file, an escape and file. Uh, but for now, let's, uh, let's break it off, let's part it off, and then we'll uh, fit it into the regulator. <laughs> There we go. So there's our taper pin. It's about one and a half mil long by 0.2 mil thick. That's a little over 0.2 at its thickest point. Okay, you should now be able to see the new regulator pin fit into the regulator beside the old one. The old one's the shorter one. Mine is a little over length. Uh, on both top and bottom. It's protruding a little bit at the top. Uh, so I'm going to use a real fine escapement file and try to bring it down a little bit. But the friction fit is good. It's not wobbling. It's a good little pin. Uh, and the surface finish is passable. I think there's, oh, there's maybe a slight um, spot where it's a bit indented in one place, which I couldn't see with my loop, but I think it will function. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is get a fine escapement file and take it down to the right size. Okay, uh, there's our replacement regulator pin. Um, it's still a teeny bit longer, but I wanted a little room to chamfer the end without damaging the other pin. So um, there we go. I think I'm gonna leave this one at that. Um, it needs to be cleaned and then I'll put it back in the watch and make sure that I can uh, regulate the watch. I haven't filed down the side um, that is exposed. It's this, um, Pardon me, the, uh, the regulator is black polished, so when I have the equipment to do black polishing, what I can do is file it down and then repolish the regulator. I'm, as it is for now, uh, since this is my watch that I'm working on, I'm just going to leave it. Um, there we go. This is the first, thing, first time I've tried this. Seemed to work out. Looking forward to getting better in the future. Thanks for watching.